When you need some chips, you better get them quick. And when you get them, you better get them from Quick Chips. I'm Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society. And that kid right there is Hillwood Mahoney. Snack Tom Pally, we are back again here with some chip action going on. We got something different today. Yeah. A brand I don't think I've ever even heard of. What, Napoli? Napoli? Or Napoli? Something like that, yeah. And uh, you've heard of bagel chips, I'm sure. Oh, you've yeah. You've heard of... Uh, Pita chips, yes. I'm sure. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I've even seen non-chips out there before. Mm -hmm. I have never seen pizza crust chips this until is a, now. There you go. This is a different twist. Now, where did you find these at? Got these at the local giant. Oh, the high end. Yeah, it might be called Stop and Shop in your uh, neck of the and, woods. Uh, uh, yeah, they're available in three varieties. We got the three cheese variety, Romano, Cheddar, and Parmesan. Okay. They also had one that was called Traditional, which just supposedly had quote-unquote quote Italian seasoning. Okay. And then there was a third one, uh, Margarita. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, so three different types of deals. Now, here's what I'm thinking before we even open these mm -hmm. up. The, the name of this, Pizza Crust Chips. Yep. What this brings to mind for me is the idea, like, is this like when you find the box at the end of the night and people didn't eat the crusts and the crusts are just in oh, there with the bite marks all over oh, them? Like a you jumbo know? slice. Yeah, yeah, the cast offs at the end. Is that what this is all about here? Is that what they're trying to replicate? I think that might be. Or maybe they're just uh, baking whole pizzas and crushing them up. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, I'm, I'm envisioning cast off pizza. Oh, they're bigger than I thought they'd be. Yeah, that looks like a cracker to me. Hmm. Now they have an interesting scent to them. Yeah. Very cracker looking. Definitely um, and very cheesy. And kind of like that feet cheese smell. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's definitely very pungent. Yeah, like 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 you've been wearing the same socks for a yeah. few days or Not something. Not exactly. Enticing. No, no, not not the cheese scent I was hoping for. But if you're if you're one of these rich people that eats the smelly cheese, then you know maybe you like it. Yeah, well, I don't like the smelly cheese. Yeah. So well, let's see. These are no, they're not greasy really or anything. There's a lot of coating on them. I don't know. Powder. Let's see. Crunchy. Mmm. Okay. There's definite like powdered cheese. Taste yeah, on there. there. Lots of cheese. Mm -hmm. And it has that Italian seasoning on it too. Mm -hmm. So I think these are basically just the traditional ones with cheese on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's definitely it's that. It's what it says it's cheese mm -hmm. and Italian seasoning. Mm -hmm. it, it's a nice, strong flavor. I'm liking the flavor. The flavor is better than how it smelled going in. Mm -hmm. um, good crunch. Mm -hmm. um, the crust or cracker or chip, or whatever you want to call this itself. Yeah. Not too excited about that part. It's just kind of there. It's bland. Yeah. Uh, you know, other than the Italian seasoning and, yeah. and the cheese part. Um, does it remind me of pizza crust, though? No. It reminds me of a cracker. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Totally just like a cracker. Just like an Italian cheese cracker. Or more like, you know, like, like, like a toasted pita. Yeah. Kind of like. Yeah. I'm not getting pizza crust. It doesn't have that consistency. I think they went and used some of that Bobo, you know, uh, thin crust pizza, you know, they they didn't use like some thick crust. Now, if they had used some thick crust, mm -hmm. that might have stood out, you know. Yeah. Well, as, as, as it is, I don't really think these stand out. Mm. And for like a $3.50 or whatever it Ooh. is, price tag. Yeah. Uh, not too excited about these. Yeah. For $3.50, there needs to be a lot more going on here, but I like the cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. I like the... Uh, the entire seasoning flavor. I just don't like the delivery method. Mm -hmm. So, and that price point, that's gotta knock it down a little bit too. Not horrible, but I can't really see going back to these. And after having a couple, I really kind of dry your mouth out. They're all like up in the nooks and crannies and that cheese powder's all over. Um, I was gonna say maybe two thirds, but I think I gotta knock it down even further. I think I gotta go half. Just kind of, yeah. No. So I don't think I wanna go back to them. Nah, yeah, I'll, I'll go a little higher than that. I'm gonna go two-thirds what he was said he was going to, no. to give it because they're all right and you know what if you had a nice cup of warm marinara oh to you, dip these in no if you step it up then i would go right three quarters right there or yeah something. i can see that being awesome but we gotta judge it by what's on the bag and napoli i'm not digging this yeah much. so uh two-thirds for me he said a half I don't know, just so so fair uh, for the uh, Napoli's pizza crust chips. I thought I would give these a full thumbs up, man. I was like, <laughs> you were I was, excited. I was excited. I was sized. I was ready to go, man. High hopes. Oh well. <laughs> but what we do have high hopes for is the SAS group on Facebook, which you should join by clicking on the link down below in the description with hundreds of the coolest people in the world 
that are in our group and used to be too. Why aren't you? Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Brandon Rick SAS and at Heal Will Mahoney. Yes, indeed. Take those handles at Brandon Rick SAS and at Heal Will Mahoney. Use them on Twitter and Instagram. And when you do, whenever you're talking about what you're snacking with us, always use hashtag Snack Society all day, every day, so I can scream from the mountaintops about what the people of the world are enjoying and let all the social media universe know. When you do that, you join the most exclusive group in wrestling, baby. You join the Four Horsemen of YouTube, baby. Like, favorite, share, and most especially subscribe 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 in the meantime in between time we'll see you next time bye 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 they have three flavors we got the set oh, fuck it <laughs> <laughs> what we tribute to mean gene no. <laughs> Just keep that